Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today, I get to react to and analyze one of your most requested songs, SOS, The Perion en Détresse. Now, Dimash has a rich history with this song. He first sang it in 2015 at the Slavic Bazaar, and then later in 2017, it was the song that launched his success on Singer. Today, I'm going to be analyzing the 2018 version at Slavic Bazaar, which many of you specifically requested. Thank you for those links so much. And I did want to do a comparison of the singer to the Slavic Bazaar, but unfortunately, copyright just won't let me do anything from singer. So we're just going to dig straight into 2018 Slavic Bazaar. Here we go. Обладатель Гран-при международного конкурса исполнителей эстрадной песни «Витебск-2015» Димаш Кудайберген, Казахстан. it. I just, it breaks my heart how well he begins this song. It's so transparent. It's like every single emotion he feels, he's able to translate into his voice. Extremely beautiful. He's so confident and grounded in his technique. He's able to let a little fragility creep into the tone, which is so hard to do, especially when you're in front of a huge audience with a little bit of adrenaline flowing. He's done that very beautifully. I also love the way that in the lyrics, which I'm going to go ahead and put in this video too, I'll give you a translation in English. I love that his voice sounds like it's questioning because the lyrics are a question at this beginning, right? Uh, why do I live? Why do I die? These are huge questions and they're vulnerable and fragile. And without even needing to understand the language, you understand the meaning right away. Let's keep going. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. So the thing that's blowing my mind the most right now is the way that he goes through his different vocal registers. I just love that. We've heard a very strong chest voice in his low notes, and then he has a head voice, which he'll he'll even add a little bit to that and go a little bit higher like that last note that was a belted full head voice there and then when he's really high and lighter and the tone sounds like a little more feminine or just like i would say more ethereal or even haunting then that's his falsetto and he's going through all of them brilliantly there was even one point which i loved when he pressed a little bit 
into one of those registers and was able to do a little uh, like emotional, it wasn't a true break, but he was able to push into it to make like a little jagged edge in there to give you an extra emotional bump. I loved it, loved it, loved it. I'll try and go back to that later, uh, but I wanna finish this performance first. Oh, hold it too. Perfectly on pitch. This <laughs> is so good. <sighs> I gotta pause there. Uh, just really quickly, that moment where he got really big and then suddenly came back down, was able to be really quiet. That's actually really hard to do vocally. That takes a lot of control. Think about times when you have uh, just let a lot of emotional energy go, when you've like yelled for something that was great. It makes your heart pump faster to calm that all down like he has here and just let again that vulnerability into his voice. That is extremely hard and he just did it very well. Okay, that was a really good example when he just flipped up into that high part. That was a really good example of when he was going to like, he was in a full, people call it sometimes a mixed belt or a head belt. Um, and then he flipped up and you heard this like uh, little quick run that almost sounds synthesized because it's so perfectly in tune. It's not synthesized. This guy's doing it all live, by the way, just to clear up any uh, misconceptions that people might have had. This is all live. Uh, but when he flipped up there, that would be like the little falsetto. And sometimes he gives it a little bit of extra reinforcement to be louder. Uh, also, just need to mention, he's going across so many octaves in his voice. At one point I was counting, I was like, within five seconds, he'd gone through three octaves. Most people don't have a usable range of three octaves, much uh, less be able to go through that in five seconds with seamless transitions. That's just out of this world. Incredible. Really, truly incredible. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I am so in love with the air that he put in these last few notes. Love, love, love that choice. And it's amazing to hear him have this focused, uh, it's what I would call like a really condensed sound, um, and then just open up and have more air flow in. And he can do this in any style. He can do that in pop, or he can do that when he's going for a classical operatic sound. It's really incredible, really, truly incredible. I wanna hop back to this moment where I thought it was so cool that he pushed into a little edge. <laughs> Such a 
such good transitions there. let himself break off of that note a little bit. Also, he's even showing you how much emotion and support and body are behind his sound right now. You'll hear, if we go back just a little more again, listen to the way he's coming off of the notes. He goes like a uh, at the end, which gives you even more emotion behind it. And it's a choice. He can choose to do that or just to breathe in right away rather than letting a little bit of extra air out. You hear that at the end? That's really cool. I love that little flip right there. It's so good. And it's so cool to hear him do notes like this totally, totally still at first and then add a little vibrato back in or just attack them straight on in an operatic fashion. It's, it's amazing to see how many styles you can go into. Wow. I didn't catch the first time, but that breath control, that was so good. Ooh, that was some long phrases. I loved that performance so much. It was a brilliant example of how to sing perfectly in a wide range throughout different vocal registers and also in different genres. Thank you for this recommendation and also for the specific link to this video. I really, I can't thank you all enough. I love your input, your comments, and I hope that you will join me on Mondays at 8 a.m in releasing new Dimash videos every week. So uh, come and chat with me during those premieres. I love getting to know you better. And please keep recommending songs below. I'm still looking for some people that are doing some fantastic performances during the coronavirus pandemic. I wanna support artists, especially right now, that have to be staying at home or that are trying to support other funds for people that have been hit really hard. So let me know about those below in the comments, and I send you all tons of love. Hope to see you soon.